So now let's write our store method. Navigate to your test folder, API, post, copy your show cest file, save it as create. Add that. Don't forget to update the class name as well as your test name. So it will create post. That's what we're doing here. Now we have this model which has our field names in it, or at least two of them. Let's just add a comment here to be a little bit more descriptive about what this list of array, uh, constants are. So what we want to do is go to our database here just to reference what exactly our fields are. And now let's add them. What I'm going to do is skip forward just to help save time. Okay, so we have a list of field names here. Now let's add our table name in as well. And posts. Okay, so that looks good. It's still underlined red for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Everything seems okay though. So let's go back to our test. So now we don't need that line anymore or any of this actually. What we want to do here is get some data that represents a post record. And we want to take this data and we want to send it to our API. So now I'm just going to fill in this data here. So I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so we have our data that represents our post. And now we're going to use the post method. Go to our post URL. I'm going to change this and add as a parameter the post array of data. So it just needs to be post. Okay, so response can remain the same. I received response code is 200, that's fine. Actually, we should keep this assert equals. So we can just say success for now. And what we're going to add here is the IC record method. Okay. And what this is going to do is actually check our database to see if the record that we are inserting is actually going to be present at the end. So our test looks good for now. What we're going to do is run it. And since it's the first time I'm connecting to Vagrant today, this may take some time. Okay, all good. So you can see it's failing here and it's failing saying could not find matching record in the table. And obviously we can't because we did not change our post controller. So we're going to look for the store method and let's start filling this out. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new instance of our post model. And we're going to take this instance and start setting the attributes of this instance. Now each attribute matches a field in the table or in, yeah, in the table of your record. And we're going to use our constants once again. So you can see how this is coming in handy. We, every time we reference a field name, it's just so much easier to use the constant. And we're going to access the request object using get. And once again, use our constant to reference title. Now I'll just fast forward because we have to do this for every required field. Okay, so we have all our fields set against the uh, set against the post module or post model. All we need to do now is do post save. And just for now, let's just return the response as success. Okay, so we should be in a good place to run our test again. Okay, so it's running create test. And good, we have all green. So for all our assertions, everything is good. Okay, so let's go back to our model, our test. Our test is looking good too. But I noticed one thing, and that is we added our fields in here. And if you remember, in our migrations, we actually have strings here representing ID, content, posts, stuff like that. So let's refactor this to use the stuff that we have here in our model. No, we're missing ID. So let's just add ID. Okay. So now I'm going to add everything in here. And I'm just going to fast forward to help speed up time. Okay. So we've refactored our migration. Let's go to our factory. 
And you can see we're still using some strings here. And also notice that we're using the incorrect um, faker stub for slug. We can change that to slug like we did elsewhere. And we can also change this string for the images as well. So I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so now that's been refactored. What we can do is run our tests again. Let's just change this to API test suite just to be a little bit more descriptive now. Okay, so let's run all our tests. So what we did is we made some refactors, uh, refactoring changes again, and we're going to run our test suite and we get all green. So that gives us confidence that everything's working fine.